So after five and a half seasons of the journeyman, we've somehow managed to find ourselves in the Premier League. How on earth has that happened? I have no idea. But it's because of Fleetwood, we owe a great deal of debt to them um, for giving us the opportunity to rebuild our career uh, last season. And we managed to win League One, get into the Championship. We've left them in a playoff zone. And now we have to try and do the same with Ipswich, rock bottom of the Premier League. Oh dear, what have I got myself into? But we're in the Premier League and that's all that matters. Hello to any Ipswich fans that are watching. I'm Joe if you're new around here and subscribe for daily FM content all over the next few days. It probably won't be daily. Um, as you guys know, I'm spending a lot of time, time with the missus lately. So there might only be three episodes this week, which is today, uh, Wednesday and Friday. By the way, Happy New Year! It's 2018! Brilliant stuff. Um, all the best for you and your families in 2018 and hopefully it all goes well. There will probably be a video out a little bit later on talking about my personal aims for 2018 with YouTube. But um, yeah, we're at a new team, Ipswich Town, and that means only one thing, house hunting. So as you can see, guys, we are at Fleetwood. Well, we were at Fleetwood. Our house was in Fleetwood and that was... Um, up on the west coast, Ipswich is almost diagonally opposite uh, <laughs> on the other coast. Uh, five and a half hour drive away, 282 miles I worked it out to be before. Must take slightly different roads with this one. So, um, yeah, 275 miles. That means we cannot commute this. We need a new house. And we have a wage rise. If you've seen in the last episode, we're going up to £18,000 a week, which I think we worked out to be about 775000 a year. Now, Ipswich, I am planning on staying a little bit longer than traditionally in the journeyman I have been staying at. I think the longest I've stayed is just over a year, um, or nearly two years at Boston, I think. So, um, yeah, uh, we've been moving about a lot, but I think we found the house that we really, really want. And it's a million pound. It's the first million pound house that we've went for. We're earning, well, I'm earning 775,000 a year now. We've raised a load from our time at Fleetwood. Um, and, you know, I'm planning on staying here for a little bit more than a year. So, and I managed to get rid of the um, relegation uh, reduced wages clause so we are going for a million pound house it's a six bedroom detached house it looks absolutely stunning uh, here are some of the rooms um, it just looks beautiful, brilliant garden uh, we want to paint this white I was showing the missus before and she said not happy with that um, kitchen's nice, uh, this needs redecorating conservatory's nice um, and yeah dressing room, you've got the, the, the bedrooms, which are nice. The bathroom's lovely. Uh, an another bedroom there with a shower in it. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Uh, another bedroom. A gym. Or oh, it's going to be my recording studio. And that's just a, a picture of car. We'll, we'll go car hunting at some point. Um, but yeah, uh, it's such a beautiful house. And I'm really, really pleased with it. And I want to stay here for as long as possible. So three and a half years, that's how long I can stay here. Can we get them out of the relegation zone? Um, oh, dear me. Unprofessional, getting me OBS up. But um, no. <laughs> yeah, can we avoid relegation and hopefully have a couple of years in the Premier League? Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part one of season six of the Journeyman with Ipswich. I know the numbering's a little bit weird, but I've decided to do something different because it's a new club, it's a new start. I thought we'd stick a, a big fat one in the corner and we'll, we'll start going like that. Um, just so that anybody that jumps in at the Ipswich part doesn't think, oh, hold on, I've missed six episodes of Ipswich here. So we'll go with part one of season six of the Journeyman. And uh, we're now with Ipswich Town, and today we have our first match in charge, which is going to be a difficult one against Arsenal. Now, we had a little bit of an introduction to the squad in the last episode, but this 
is the general look of it. There's plenty of decent players here. I've, I've promoted a few from the reserves as well. We've got a little bit of potential here and there. Andre Dazel looking good. Andre Green, Duncan Watmore looks like a, a good quality player. But the problem where this team sort of falls down is the amount of goals. We've only got 3 2. Uh, and a few on one, um, and assists wise, absolutely terrible. There's, there's not a player playing above a 6.8, and that means that in the Premier League, we're on 7 points after 19 games. That's absolutely terrible. But, all is not lost. We're 11 points from safety, 2 games more played than Newcastle, but we can do this, we hopefully will do this, and if not, we're going to have a very strong team going down. So... You know, it's a free hit at it. It's we're we're attempting to be competitive. We've got a transfer window. We've got a decent budget as well. We've got twenty three million. Uh, we're just overspending at the minute. But if I can uh, move this about a bit, maybe maybe do that. Give ourselves nineteen million. Um, about seventy grand to spend in wages. I think we can get a couple of top quality players. Maybe a a, a good striker in there as well. Uh, dynamics looks good, people are supportive of us, uh, there's a good dressing room atmosphere as well, so we're, we're looking good, but today, the tactic we're going to go for, we're just going to keep it nice and simple, we're going to keep to what we did at Fleetwood for this first game, until we start to get to know the players a little bit, uh, and, and this worked for two seasons, or well, one and a half seasons at, um, at Fleetwood, so hopefully it'll work today, um, and, and we'll see, but in goal, we have Bartosz Bialkowski. Goodness me. <laughs> uh, for some reason, he's transfer listed. I, I, I don't really know why. Um, yeah, we'll take that off. Uh, don't really know why he's transfer listed. So, we'll, yeah, he's going to be our first choice keeper, I think. Uh, Connolly, Ebanks, Landel. Spence and Fox in defence. We've got Watmore on the right-hand side with Watkins and Mount in the middle. And Andre Green starting behind Noah Dicko and Sam Volk. So there might be a few names that you don't recognise in there. Um, that guy, I have no idea who he is. Oh, he's come from Notts County. So, yeah, he's been at Ipswich a long, long time. I can't believe he's actually transfer listed. But um, he had a good season last year. He's had two clean sheets this year. He'll do. Callum Connolly uh, looks like a decent player. He's only 25 years old. Ebanks Landel looks all right as well. He's come from uh, Barnsley in this save. Morgan Fox, uh, 29 years old. We forgot to look at Jordan Spence. Um, he looks all right as well. I'm looking for regens mainly here. Duncan Watmore definitely isn't. What about Ollie Watkins? No. Uh, Mason Mount? Nope. Uh, Andre Green? Nope. Uh, and those two I definitely know or not. So we haven't got any regens in the squad at the minute. And maybe that could be a problem. We need to maybe build um, a bit more of a, a younger team. But we need to get them firing with goals. And it's the toughest possible start at home to Arsenal today. It is it is going to be tough. Um, looking at this Arsenal team, is there anybody you recognise? Bellerin maybe. Jack Butland's made the move. Mustafi's still there. Uh, Rob Holden, uh, Thiago Maia, uh, Fernandez, uh, Rog, um, Iwobi, Neres, Nelson, and this guy Alvarez up top. Twenty-one year old Colombian. Looks a looks a decent player, but maybe quite surprising that he's starting the day. Looking on the bench, Lacazette's still there. But generally, it's a very different Arsenal side to the one that we see today. So. Um, we are the, the underdogs, most definitely. But it's all about having a free free hit today. Um, sorry about this. Uh, I need to hand this over to the assistant. Uh, we've brought most of our staff over from Fleetwood as well. And we know that we work together well as a, as a backroom staff. Um, and, and we know that um, we can get results with this, this group of people. Uh, and hopefully that will transfer over to Ipswich Town. So... Yeah, I can't wait for this. This is going to be a load of fun. And the target is to stay in the Premier League this season. Eventually, we'll try and stabilise them as a Premier League team. Um, if we go down this year, it's not the end of the world. We'll have another crack at the Championship and hopefully get promotion. Here's Fox, now to Green. Mount. 
Uh, Nerez away. Here's Alvarez. Alvarez on the ball. Can he get into the middle? Alvarez. Oh, good save. Good save. Uh, we're going to just call him Bartosh, I think, you know, uh, nickname-wise. Here's a Wobi. Now Rog. Oh, Nerez. It's away by uh, Connolly, and we survive another day there. I mean, we're getting absolutely pummeled by Arsenal here, but managing to hang on for the minute. Can we get a tackle in and maybe get them on the counter-attack? Here's uh, Fox away to Green now, to Vokes, Sam Vokes on the ball. And that was terrible. Here's Rog. Now to Neres. Spence cuts it out. Here's Dicko. Dicko now to Vokes. Vok oh, that was a, a decent idea, but... Uh, good interception, and now we're on the back foot once again. Here's Fox. Oh, it's 1-0. Pedro Alvarez with the goal. And we were talking about him pre-match, which was the mistake that we made. Uh, and I think Arsenal might well be top of the league. I'm really not sure what's been going on in the Premier League, but that was terrible. That was really bad. Um, and it's 1-0, which isn't good. And Connolly's injured. But you can see some of the... Uh, yeah, so Arsenal move to the top of the league. Here's Dicko. Now Vokes puts it in the back of the net. Sam Vokes with his first goal of the season. He came to me uh, in the, the, the sort of day that we had to, to get to know the team. And he said, look, I haven't been having enough first team football. And I thought, Sam Vokes is the best striker at the club. Why hasn't he been playing first team football? But he's come in straight away and he's got the goal. He's got us back into it. And it's one all. Whew. A bit of an intense first half. We've been absolutely battered in terms of the, the stats. But we are a counter-attacking side. We've got to expect to, to try and take a beating. And take our chances if and when we get them. Um, you've been unlucky so far. Most definitely. Uh, Callum Connolly. You can come off for Fawad. Oh, no, Ferend Rawson. I think he's a right back. He is. Uh, yeah, we'll play him as a defensive fullback. Uh, it's going to take a while to get to know this team. Um, and hopefully we can bring in a couple of additions to, to really strengthen the side. Here's Dicko now. No, I Dicko on the ball. Here's Green. Can he get in? He can. It's Sam Vokes again was, was in there. And unfortunately, he couldn't just... Couldn't quite get um, his boot to the uh, the ball first and unfortunately couldn't score. But here's Green now to Vokes. Vokes on the ball. Oh, that was that was poor. It's away. Spence now to Watkins. Watkins forward. Here's Green. Can he get it in? Green to Vokes. Sam Vokes. Dick. Oh, yes. It's 2-1. That is brilliant. What a start for us here. And I'm getting excited because this is this is insane. Ipswich, seven points from 19 games, and now we're 2-1 up against Arsenal. Both strikers have scored. It's very early days. We still will probably lose this game. We have to accept that, but we're playing well and looking good. I'm really happy about it because the only goal Arsenal scored was from a, a very poor mistake from, from Fox, and yet again, just not a good throw. Fox, oh, 2-2. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, again, Fox just not good and green as well. So down that left-hand side, we're looking very poor. That's somewhere where we were fairly strong with um, with Fleetwood. Obviously, we had Neil Taylor at left back. Um, but it is going to be difficult. We've got 35 minutes to go. Here's Fox. Can he get it forward? He certainly can. It's Dicko. Can he get there first? He can. Oh, it's in. It's in. It's 3-2. What is going on here? My goodness me. It was Fox. Booted it forward. Noah Dicko. What was the goalkeeper doing? I mean, he did his best to miss it. But it's 3-2. We've got 35 minutes to hang on here. I think it's time for a change. Um... The problem is we don't we don't have many changes to make uh, that will actually freshen up the side. I think uh, we'll bring Mount off because he's looking rather uh, prone to being sent off. 
Uh, we can move green back. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, that seems fine. So uh, we'll clear the balls to the fl flanks. We'll be more disciplined. And here we go. So 20 minutes to go here to hang on for a very, very special victory. Um, and it's been a really good performance. We've shown a little bit of fight. I think on the left-hand side, I think 7.9 is very generous for Fox. I don't think uh, he's, he's played well at all. But, um, you know, the, the stats suggest he is playing well. I think maybe playing, and playing him as a fullback on defend might be a bit better than a defensive fullback. But here we go, it's full time. We have won our first game in charge of Ipswich Town. And it's against the toughest opponent one of the top four teams at home and we've managed to do it going behind well no we went behind early on and then Arsenal uh, came back um, uh, and uh, and equalized later on when we were 2-1 up but we showed fight we showed potential and I'm very very happy with that if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me. It really does help out the channel as well. Remember, we probably won't have daily content this week on Football Manager, uh, but there will be other videos coming out, uh, probably Ashes Cricket and maybe an episode of LA Noir as well. Um, but it will be daily content, again, probably from next Monday, um, but expect an episode on Wednesday and Friday this week as well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.